First at six, it's a story that we have to share. We must talk about this. It's, it's a story about a group of people who are struggling right now in our backyard. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. And I'm Lorenzo Hall. You've heard about those buses full of migrants sent to D.C. from Texas. They say they were promised help when they got to D.C. and now they're just waiting inside Union Station for that help to come. Rafael Sanchez Cruz was at Union Station today. And Rafa, you got a chance to speak to some of these families. What did they tell you? Let's see, when the migrant buses first arrived at D.C. back in April, they told me that they had accepted the bus ride from Texas to D.C. to be closer to their final destination. But the families I spoke to today said they came to the nation's capital under false pretenses. Union Station has become just one more stop for asylum seekers like Barbara Diaz, who spent one month and 14 days to get from Venezuela to the U.S. with her two-year-old son. In Texas, me dijeron... in Texas, they told me that in Washington they would help me get to my destination, but it was all a lie. This mother says officials in Texas told her that if she boarded a bus to D.C., there would be people here that would get them to their final destination. Barbara plans to head to Chicago. Nosotros pasamos un proceso demasiado duro para llegar hasta acá. We went through so much to get here. If the majority of Americans knew just a little of what we went through to touch American soil, they would not be doing this to us. A similar story from Ana Karina, who says they left Texas as a family, thinking they would be sent to Colorado. We arrived here with faith to give them a better life, and it turns out that we do not even have a place to sleep and no way to get where we want to go. Inside the station, nonprofit groups were intaking dozens of families and single migrants, the majority from Venezuela, trying to get them bus tickets to their destinations. Our latest numbers are probably like around 120 buses carrying about 3,000 300, 3,400 people. Migrant Solidarity Mutual Aid Network has been one of the groups spearheading the efforts to help these asylum seekers upon their arrival to D.C., providing food, bus tickets, and even shelter. We've spent like something like $260,000. But their funds are dwindling, and they're calling for support from D.C. government. We have never received any money from the D.C. government or any government. All our money has been grassroots raised. Mayor Bowser's office has not responded to a request regarding funding for these organizations. This network says they're now focusing on donations and volunteers to continue their work. Yeah, we have information on our website. If you'd like to help out as well, WUSA9.com. Rafael, thank you.